Hello there, and welcome to another Keen Stream. Hi, Hello. I'm joined by Marek today, and of course, uh, we are going to talk about the big announcement we made just around half an hour ago. Oh, no, sorry, an hour ago. And in summary, that is um, that Space Engineers will be uh, releasing the major overhaul of survival and going out of early access on the 28th of February, which is next Friday, Thursday. Uh, is it next Thursday or Friday? Thursday, yeah. Thursday, yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of cool because, of course, our updates um, in, historically have always gone out on a Thursday, so it's pretty nice, I think. So, uh, Marek, do you want to say anything about this announcement? Because it's been a long time coming. Yeah, I'm just excited because we have been working on this for a uh, couple of months, you know, on the, on the survival update and uh, regarding uh, leaving the early access. We have been obviously working on this for many years, so it's a very exciting day. And uh, the purpose of this stream is to uh, just kind of reiterate the blog post, um, but also kind of address maybe some concerns or uh, questions that you guys have about it. So yeah, yeah, Marek needs to sit forward. I've, mm -hmm. I've turned the mic up, but it's, uh, it's, it's all by Marek now, the mic, so. <laughs> Let me just, right, hopefully the music's not too loud either, so. Um, let me just see here, so. Briefly, you want to talk about like the the fact the public test that we did, right? So yeah, I think, yeah. So I mean, obviously we've done a three now, and um, I think in the last test, some was uh, our lead test was telling us there wasn't any crashes on dedicated servers, which was uh, really fantastic news. So there's been a lot of um, work, especially from the QA department now, to actually kind of uh, get rid of all those bugs and pesky issues that have been uh, in the game, maybe for some time as well. So. Um, that's kind of the main thing, and we got to the point where it was like, okay, this is feeling pretty solid, so let's uh, let's release this thing, right? Good to see so many of you here tonight. Uh, let's just scroll down then, Marek. Um, mm -hmm. So another big news, but you already said it, uh, to Thursday, uh, February 28th, uh, we'll have the, uh, the live stream, uh, we'll be going out of early access, we'll be releasing major overhaul of survival, uh, together with many uh, kind of like surprises, you know, that were not in the public test. So this is the biggest new. So that yeah, that's going to be um, a pretty pretty big party, I think, um, both uh, uh, on the stream but also here at the office. Mm -hmm. I think we've got uh, a number of guests joining us, and uh, it will be a good night. So. <laughs> um, that and that was that's, yeah 5 p.m. yeah fantastic. How you doing? Yeah, sorry about the music. I was just I was fiddling with it. Um, so going down here. Do you do you want to read this, Marek, or should I kind of direct you towards it if you want to talk about each each section? Uh, it's very simple, basically. Okay. Uh, like one thing is that. Uh, We've been preparing uh, space engineers to leave early access for uh, kind of like two years, three years uh, since the beta. Uh, the game still uh, is fulfilling and compatible with the original vision that we had, you know, which is about having this physical space sandbox, you know, to build the foundation. And uh, then we can build on top of this foundation. And we have this. We have actually much more, not just the sandbox, but, uh, you know, this phase is uh, g going to be very close uh, over and uh, yeah and uh, another thing that is also good to mention that uh, we implemented much more things that we originally planned in our vision so for example even things like solar panels uh, pistons rotors even though some of those things i had in my head but i wasn't really sure that we will do them but at some point uh, we realized it would be good to try them so we made some MVP, minimum viable prototype of those things, uh, we put them to game and then of course we had to spend two years, you know, fixing them and polishing them. So some of these like unplanned things were not kind of good idea or great idea for us, but in the end, you know, it was a lot of fun for players. So like, okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, regarding uh, history, uh, <laughs> uh, it's five or six years uh, in development. 
uh, the game uh, entered early access in October 2013 and uh, we announced the game one month or two months prior to that and it was a proof of concept kind of single player creative mode only uh, with of course like very small amount of blocks but what was important was that there was this destruction you know and mm-hmm. physic- yeah. physics so you can build stuff put grids together it reacted to the physics and so on and after the first reactions people are super excited about this concept so we knew that it's a good concept and then we just kept on going for the last five six years and we added many new things uh, planets new HUD and UI uh, skins, parachutes, wheels, as you can see in the blog post, more than 200 blocks, actually much, much more blocks than originally I would yeah. expect. Like I would actually maybe even keep it like smaller, you know, so it's easier to maintain and, uh, and put together. But anyway, there is so many blocks, it's even hard to remember all of them. Uh, we also reworked the character animation many times or the character itself, but we still kept the visual style or the art style of the original character. This was very important because actually what I think is that we got the visual style of the game like very right at the first take, you know, with the stripes and colors and, uh, you know, how the space looks, uh, how the engineer itself looks and so on. And I didn't want to change this. You know? It has like, obviously it's it's changed quite a bit actually, but it's still, it's, it's changed a lot, but it's still the same, if you see what I mean? Yes. That's and actually I, I was around. like last two or three years, like really trying to steer it back, you know, to the original uh, vision. It, it, yeah, it was a lot of work to, to get it back because everyone kind of sees it and does it slightly differently. Uh, then we also did a lot of work on multi-threaded physics and physics itself, I think, because Space Engineers is game, you know, about physics, uh, this, I would say, is the biggest part of what we did, and uh, yeah, a lot of work there. And then we also did the super large worlds, uh, worlds, which means that originally Space Engineers was only, uh, I mean, the world was kind of infinite, but as you were traveling further, the physical calculations were getting mm-hmm. less and less yeah. precise, so you could see that the like, for example, something on a ship would start kind of like, you know, shaking mm-hmm. and so on. It was weird when you get to the edge of the, well, the, like the edge of the map, it, yeah. Yeah, it would start, like, things would start to get really weird. So I think we, the 64-bit was a big step, wasn't it? Switching yeah, to 64-bit. Yeah, it was as well. Yeah. And then 64-bit became kind of the default. So the super large worlds, what they bring is that the world is practically infinite, but uh, uh, it's not completely infinite because you can still get, you know, this imprecision things if you travel I don't remember the numbers, they were in the old blog post, but it was like trillions, trillions of light years kind of thing. So uh, practically it's infinite and you will not see these uh, precision issues. And uh, we also did a lot of game optimizations. We're kind of like doing them all the time. Uh, sometimes it's just part of the job and sometimes we explicitly say like, okay, let's focus, spend mm-hmm. one month, two month, just optimizing things. Then we profile, you know, we analyze where are the bottlenecks and then we focus and optimize those. Uh, yeah, a year ago we did a huge uh, overhaul of visuals and audio and wheels and other things. So this was also another great thing. Basically, uh, if you want to release the game uh, from early access, you need to make sure that the game looks kind of like a final product, you know, and not something that is missing animations here or there, particles here or there, or some things are not uh, in the same style and so on. So we needed to put it, you know, like one, uh, basically we need to finalize the visuals and also the idea, audio. Uh, multiplayer, that was another big thing, uh, as you can remember, six months or a little bit more, right, ago, uh, which was a like long waited uh, update uh, to improve uh, the multiplier make it you know, like robust, solid, and so on. Then we also did kind of like uh, not according to our plan because we didn't want to do it, but then Philip uh, decided to do it, so we did it. Uh, was the air tightness and oxygen things, you know, the entire functionality a couple months ago. And uh, now, next week, uh, we'll be releasing the survival mode, which is basically balancing all the survival elements of the game together so it's balanced with a few new functionalities and a few new blocks that are adding, uh, you know, like, they're just making it more balanced, you know, and more like a game. And then there are many other things that we added, programmable blocks, modding support, antennas, landing gears, gears, uh, solar panels, 
cargo ships, meteorites, encounters, asteroid clusters, visual scripting, realistic uh, mode audio, you know, where you can hear only things uh, where you are in physical contact with the source of the, of the sound. Uh, in-game help and many, many more. So uh, the history of space engineers, engineers is in last five, six years. I think there is so many things that if we have to like list everything and talk about everything, I think it will take a week at least. <laughs> so Joel, we can go so I'm just, to I'll the just next just thing. Cracking something here. Yeah. I also want to mention just the fact like it's, it's, it's interesting to see so many of you guys who have been um, just around for so long, right? Like, I mean, I, there's names in the chat I'm seeing who have been around as long as I have, but basically from the start of Space Engineers, like, I saw some people putting their like numbers down. So put in the chat now, like how many hours of Space Engineers have you played yourself? Like you might have only been playing for a couple of weeks. You might have been playing for a month, a year, or you might have been playing for nearly five years now. So there you go, Mario. <laughs> 25,000. <000. laughs> but maybe if someone wow, can do that. time traveling, you know, he can go so far. <laughs> it's a lot. There's a, there's a lot. You see, I don't think there's many under 100. Like, nearly mm -hmm. everyone. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen, I think everyone I've looked at in chat has over 100 hours mm -hmm. as, as a baseline. And then everything is high as nearly, nearly 10,000 hours. It's actually funny to count it all together, like by all players. Yeah. To like aggregate it together in mm -hmm. one number and then multiply by. Just let's say some average salary or something like this. <laughs> Even just average, you know. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. know how much money that would be, but can be interesting, right? Yeah. So uh, in the blog post, you can also see the very first trailer that we released in 2013, where we wanted to show the ships, you know, like crashing to each other, destroying themselves, and so on. Uh, in those years, we sold more than. Three, three, 3 million copies, not 300 million, but 3 million <laughs> copies. That would, that would be quite nice, wouldn't yeah, it? Would you? <laughs> so on, only 3 million copies. And uh, currently we have in last years, I think, uh, uh, 200,000 monthly active users, basically players who are around every month, which is still it's quite impressive. For, for how long how old the game is, that's, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a really yeah. impressive number. And we also listened a lot to our community and we are still listening and uh, we will actually be still listening even after the game leaves early access. You know, we have the support side and uh, we are monitoring it, looking there for either bugs or uh, like new ideas or requests. So this will just continue. And uh, so what I think actually that we did in last five, six years is the foundation, you know, for space engineers. And now we plan to build on top of it and that's what I think is fascinating also for me because that's a moment I was working on for all these years and now it's culminating, you know, now mm -hmm. it's going to explode. Uh, and you said, I mean, this is the sum it up, it's like, this is not the end, this is just the beginning. Yeah. So that's kind of sums it up pretty much, I think. <laughs> so, I mean, this is just going on to like the FAQ and yeah, we can go quickly. So yeah. the summary is, I mean, maybe I should ask you, I'll ask you the questions okay. about it and then, then, and then you, you will answer. So will you abandon space engineers? Uh, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hesitance. Yeah. Hesitant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like what is the correct answer? So uh, no, obviously not. Like if you wanted to abandon it, you already abandoned it like years ago. Um, Plus, like, we have so many plans for the game that are still not realized. So maybe next question. Okay, so will you fix this bug or that bug? Okay. Uh, like, in this update, we are fixing many bugs. And uh, as I said, we'll be still monitoring the support side and fixing bugs, you know, as they are discovered. And sometimes we kind of, even our QA team is huge and like really professional. And it's important part of what we do. Uh, we still cannot uh, like find all the bugs, you know, because there is only few, few testers, six, seven right now, I think, and they just 
together if you count the numbers of hours they can spend in the game is just much less than uh, what the community can play so community can always explore some new bugs in the game and uh, you know so but we are monitoring the support site and other places and looking for bugs and continuously fixing them okay next question what will come next? Because I'm sure a lot of people are asking, what will come next, right? Uh, we'll be expanding Space Engineers franchise uh, in new features, uh, with new blocks, scenarios, and, uh, you know, like, new kind of gameplay, new immersion challenges, and so on. So, like, if we want to keep the surprises and not reveal everything, uh, even not things we are planning to do, like, post-early access, uh, this is the short answer. And uh, we'll be releasing more news, of, co of course, as we'll be getting closer to those uh, to those editions or to those like new things. I also just briefly put the image on stream yeah, from yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah. from the blog post. So, so here I would just clarify one thing: uh, uh, this block uh, is a concept that will be releasing post early access. This block will not go in uh, in the uh, survival overhaul update. Uh, or at the moment next week when we'll be releasing the game from early access this is a concept for the post early access time just to show you you know that there is something well i think uh, you can after. probably guess what it what it is right i mean i think i think most people have figured out what what this what this is it's kind of it's got some pretty unmistakable features there okay let me just <clears throat> so next question are you working on a new game already? Uh, no, no, we are really focusing only on space engineers and of course uh, the other team is focusing on medieval engineers. Okay, so that was that one. And then uh, next one, uh, I am disappointed because you never implemented features that I wanted for this game. It's not the game I expected. It's not really a question, but it's more like... So first, I'm sorry, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I said, uh, we are just finishing the foundation of Space Engineers, and there will be many more, I can say even like versions of Space Engineers, many more updates, you know, extensions or expansions or whatever. So it's possible that uh, in some kind of longer time scale, everyone will get the game they want from Space Engineers. Okay, that's that, that was that one done. And um, are you still working on an Xbox port? Uh, yes, yes. This is one of the top priorities for our team. There you go. So Xbox, don't worry, it's still happening. And that's the end of the, the kind of FAQ. We just have put in there. It's just kind of like the most obvious questions that people might think when they hear this announcement, right? So I'm sure there are many more uh, more specific questions. But um, I, I think that will hopefully cover a lot of the main uh, questions and concerns there. Um, we have some uh, comments from uh, some community creators here. Um, and then again, we've got the, uh, the conclusion, I guess, which is the, uh, about the, um, the live stream again. So next Thursday, 28th of February, 5 p.m. UTC, uh, will be uh, the release live stream. So, uh, as a test, this will be a truly momentous day for the Space Engineers community. I'm reading, reading word for word there. So, so, so if there's anything else you want to add from this, and then the last thing, that thank you to the community, yeah. you know, that uh, helped yeah. us to develop this amazing game. So, thanks to everyone in the community who was helping us. It's true. It's like it's space engineers. Would say it wouldn't be what it is today without the community because it's hard to know. Like to say if this was made behind closed doors, what it would have. Because like the most, the biggest one that comes to mind is planets, right? Like planets was something that you. They always the answer was always no, no planets, and then it was by far the the high the most highly requested feature for space engineers. So because of that. You know, communication and feedback from the community obviously a lot of work was put into making that a reality um, but it's, that's one of many examples that may have not been into the game had it not been for you guys so 
Yeah, really, thank you, you guys, and for, for, for continuing to support, and also uh, for like continuing to create all that you do and show us what is possible in the game. Because I think it's constantly we are actually surprised and blown away by what is actually possible, um, you know, beyond our expectations. Mm -hmm. If you see what I mean. Yeah. So. Uh, so that's the kind of the end of the blog post, and you can read again. This you, we might have missed some points, but if you want to read in detail, you can check it out. I think one of the moderators will link it in the chat, and I guess now we'll just kind of look to the chat and see if there are any. Uh, well, there are, there will be questions to see if we can pull some questions uh, to answer, and um, let's see then. Oh, 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 ah, hmm, chat's going very quickly now. Maybe this one question uh, from Sparked, uh, are you going to rebalance combat, for example, new weapons and stuff, stuff like that? that? So, uh, obviously not for the survival update, but for the let's say like short term future in post early access time or era, uh, we want to focus on this definitely. Like, uh, you know, like utilizing space engineers in combat is logical step. And uh, this is why we are building this foundation. A question from Gwendol Mir says, what does franchise mean in your post? Will you make just more updates to the existing space engineer product on Steam or release a new game? Yeah. Uh, in short term, we'll definitely work mostly on updates, you know, or updating this game. Yeah. Uh, but then later, of course, we'll focus on a new game that will be like the next step of Space Engineers. So, uh, because sometimes you need to kind of like break the backwards compatibility. Sometimes you need to start uh, from fresh start and so on. So uh, at some point we'll do that, but in like short term future we'll be focusing on updating or expanding space like the current space engineers. Uh, Torganator asks, uh, "Are you going to implement any more mods into the game?" Hmm. So let me think. Uh, I'm not sure if any of the ideas or plans is implementation of some existing mod. Uh, many times it may be things that we will implement from scratch, but they are somehow similar to some existing mods. You know, that's sometimes how it works. For example, like one example can be some new kind of weapon, uh, like a block, and uh, you know, like we'll get some idea what kind of weapon we want, and it's quite good chance that such a weapon block is already in the workshop, you know, because someone else already had that idea. And I think this will happen many times. So, uh, but just like taking a mod, copy pasting to the game and like, you know, like polishing, fixing, uh, I'm not sure we will do this anytime soon. I, I think it's actually a good idea to do this together with the creator of the mod, but uh, the, the, the actual tangible plans that we have right now, none of them is like that. Okay, uh, trying to pull some stuff. There's lo so many. Thank you guys for uh, asking away here. There's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of questions. Um. <clears throat> Ooh. We'll slow down a bit here. I'm trying to stop the chat. Uh, how about that one, Marek? What do you think about that? I'm not sure. Yeah. I'll ask that one? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so Binary Duck asks, will there be improvements on planets? Like hazards, wildlife, and maybe encounters cargo ships on the surface. What about generated caves of interesting things to explore? So, uh, like, obviously not in this survival update, but later sometime in the future definitely one idea that i have in my, in my mind i kind of call it living worlds 
uh, you know, like as a, some kind of umbrella feature name, is basically about thinking how to add more living things into the game and not just like animals, you know, NPCs, but anything, you know, that could be living, even like the, the storm is some kind of living object, meteorites, some kind of living objects, of course, obviously other NPCs and so on. So uh, one thing, but uh, we would need to do this again as some kind of, just like the physics in Space Engineers was some kind of breakthrough thing or like a new thing in, in games. Uh, I have similar plans for these living worlds thing to, to, do it, to do it really properly. So the worlds will start to live and uh, there will be some kind of emergent interaction uh, between these living things and it all should be very robust, you know, which is the biggest actually um, like complication or like challenge, challenge for this idea uh, to make sure that these living things will not seem to be dumb you know, or it would yeah. not seem to be just scripted or something like this. But you would feel that like all these living world things are some uh, emergent phenomena, you know, living in the world, like existing in the world, reacting as they should be reacting and so on. So uh, it's a long term thing uh, and uh, we'll need to focus on this like much more precisely than just some rough idea in my head. But the point again is to have many living things mm -hmm. in a space engineers universe. Okay, uh, Farrell asks, given that you're looking for someone to join the Keen Software House team to work on multiplayer, what kind of improvements do you see that person contributing to SE? So I think this is referring to our, our jobs page. I think there's something about a multiplayer programmer maybe? Yeah, it's, it's uh, probably an older job posting mm -hmm. that we just kind of like kept there okay. because you can always use multiplayer programmer. Yeah. Uh, we put it there a year or two years or three years ago when we were like in dear need to change the multiplayer, which happened. Chendo and his team, they, they did it. So uh, the multiplayer works well right now. And but if we want to expand it in the future, uh, there are actually like two areas that I can talk about. But again, this is just some long term ideas. It's not short term specific roadmap plans. So one is uh, to add uh, some kind of uh, server mode where uh, you have matchmaking and very short, uh, quick battle kind of instance servers, you know, mm -hmm. so it's not like dedicated server running for days. This is a server that restarts every 20 minutes, 60 minutes, and you get a new match and together with some matchmaking, obviously. So this is one thing that uh, I would like to see someday because it would help us to utilize what we built in Space Engineers for this kind of fights without players being afraid they will lose their ships, you know, they build for days mm -hmm. because in these quick battles, every nothing is Basically permanent. an arcade. Yeah, arcade, arcade. arcade. So that's one Star thing, battles. you know, this, uh, uh, this quick fight arena, you know, battles. And the other is obviously MMO, you know, sometime in the future that we, that we are also really good that was like one of the reasons why we started to do this uh, space engineer thing you know that we can use this foundation in different genres or different game modes mm -hmm. okay I'm just looking back at the question of course uh oh well, let's see Question from, I guess, uh, about modding, maybe? Like, if if the mod API will be expanded at some point, do you know anything about this, Marek? We are kind of still expanding or, you know, like changing things in the modding API. Even in this update, there are some big things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, if I would have to talk about the long-term future, uh, of course, I would make the game. Uh, actually, I have one idea uh, where the modding is like pushed to the next level and it will be kind of like modding from within the game. So you would not be even thinking about modding the source code of the game. You would be actually modding the physical rules of the world. You know, so you would okay. be modding inside the game, kind of like changing the physical laws, you know, like like if someone, for example, learn how to hack, you know, the rules, this universe, 
is governed. So something like that, just in space engineering. So mm-hmm. uh, that that would be like the next level. Changing the laws of physics. Do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, non linear asked, uh, what's what's your favorite part of the game? For me, it's uh, the feedback you get from the environment and the fact that you can interact with the environment. So you know, like you go there, you run, you hear it. Uh, you start drilling or you crash a ship and you get the feedback back. You know, that's for me the best part. Of course, like other players, they do more, I would say like... Uh, well, I mean, how's that taste? Some people are yeah. more creative builders, some people are more scenario yeah. players, some people are more, you know, multiplayer, cooperative stuff. So it's, of course, there's many areas. But for me, this like first moment uh, impression is very important. So. This is where I'm personally usually focusing, you know, mm-hmm. when we are developing game or doing anything game related, I'm focusing on how I feel about that particular thing and using that particular thing. So for me, for example, it's quite important how does it feel uh, to shoot from a gun, you know, in the game or to, to like use a drill and drill something or to crash a ship, you know, how does it feel, uh, how the physics reacts to me, the sounds and all things around. Okay, uh, let's see. I mean, Cap- uh, Captain's asking about Xbox, just quickly, like, we don't have any, uh, like, a date for that or anything, but it is still being worked on. It's, it, as Marek said, it's a, it's a big focus for us now. Yeah. Um, so, again, it's, I, I know it's been like this for a, for a while, but really, like, w- w- once we have something to share, we will do, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, but the main thing is that it's still it's still being worked on. But of course, actually, seeing as the foundations are kind of being completed, I think actually it's one of those things that's going to be uh, easier, if you see what I mean, because the uh, the PC version is kind of stabilizing, right? And that's also, I guess, good news for modders as well, uh, because actually the fact that it's kind of stabilizing now, there won't be so many changes that will break their mod and so on, right? So that that's also just a side point there. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if this is basically 505 asking as the foundations are done can we expect a second golden age of new blocks as we had in the beginning uh, yes I can say yes because that's uh, what we are planning right now Okay, answer. <laughs> um, mentioning the things being so, Maldark saying mentioning because I was mentioning about the fact that there are some surprises still for this release. I mean, we mentioned that the, the block you saw earlier was not a part of the release, but um, yeah, we still have some surprises up our sleeves uh, for the next week, for next week's release. So you have to just uh, wait and see for those. Um, that's that one. People have already done that J Limited. There's actually, I mean, an official, I mean, you're talking about the way to link multiple servers together. And this was already done actually um, by Rexar and, uh, oh, was it and somebody else was it? And they basically had this multi-server tech, but it wasn't vanilla stuff. But I think, are you asking whether that's gonna be possible from vanilla? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> like Captain Jack's asking you to te- asking you to tease them some more. <laughs> they want more teasing. But we are al- had- already doing a lot of teasing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's they, yeah, not, yeah. They, they can't get enough of that teasing. <laughs> um, trying to think if there's this. I mean, you guys. Are, I guess you're kind of asking more specific details. It's. Uh,
because we might not actually have all the answers to some of these things. You see what I mean? Because it's it's not yet known. Uh, I'm just that's why I'm that's why I'm just kind of looking over the questions. Like some of them are very specific, and we might not know the answer to them right now. Um, let's see. I mean, uh, I just want to touch on it. Like, I might ask it a bit differently. So, what what are your current thoughts on VR, Marek? I'm not. It's not. I'm not necessarily asking will there be VR and space engineers, but it's it's kind of a lot of people have, are mentioning VR. So, I'm not really sure. Do you have any? Because obviously, we mentioned in the past we've experimented with it, and Sectan is actually working on a really really cool um, project uh, in Unreal. But I just I think. A lot of people are asking about it, so I'm not sure if there's anything you can touch on it, maybe. I, I like uh, Sektan's you know, VR demo. It's really cool. I think it's a good way how to showcase space engineers. And uh, uh, like in the future, we would want to do VR for space engineers, not in short term, because again, we have some priorities. Yeah, so that's it. I, I like VR. Sometimes I played here in the office, and uh, there are some good games. And... Uh, Actually, one of the like best experiences I had is this Google Earth. You know, of course, that's kind of off topic, but Google Earth and you can walk, you know, like on top of the city or like if there are some mountains between the mountains, it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, that was off topic. So uh, uh, VR and space engineering is, is, is great. Uh, I'm actually personally uh, looking forward to Sektan's demo. You know? Yeah, because he'll release it eventually, yeah. I think. So anyone who has... A VR headset. Yeah, actually, yeah, already play with played it. it. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it's really good experience to walk in space engineers environment. You know, to look from the like from the ship to the to the space through the glass. Yeah. Okay, Joel. Okay. Uh, do you want to wrap it up now? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, uh, I hope you're excited because the essay, the, uh, it's only just the beginning um, and the main thing to say out of all of this is be sure to be there next week for the live stream, uh, 28th of February, 5 p.m. UTC, Space Engineers will be coming out of early access and, uh, and we're excited to see uh, your reactions to uh, some of the surprises as well, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's all of it. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Yeah. Thank bye you very bye. much. See you next time. Bye.